The call to order the special meeting of the City Council of the City of Two Harbors for the purpose of acting as the Two Harbors Waterfront Committee on June 27th, 2022 at 7.31 p.m. Roll call, please. Woodruff. Here. Glasher. Here. Renwall. Here. Redden. Here. All right, we'll start out with discussions and any action on waterfront matters. Is there anybody that's heading this up? Go ahead. Um, where are we at with the DNR chunk? I mean, is that happening? Is it not happening? Do we have even a waterfront to really consider this? So let's just, you know, I mean, where is that? Thank you, Councilor Renwald. So, um, the governor did not sign any bills, and so right now, um, that bill is sitting unsigned, so the property has not been conveyed. <laughs> And it doesn't, I don't, maybe um, Jeff can answer better, but I don't think that they're going to meet. So that bill's not, it's not looking like that bill is going to get signed. Not any time this year. Is Jeff on? Yeah, I think I saw him. I thought I saw him too up there. Jeff? Let's see. He was, he, might, he must have not, maybe he was on. Oh, there he is. All right, let me see what I can do this to hear him. I might have. Oh, maybe I just have to unmute the TV. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. Okay, you can? Yep. Sure. Yeah. Okay, all right. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, Mr. President, Council members, uh, thanks for the opportunity to give you an update. Uh, the land transfer from the DNR was to be included in the bonding bill uh, because of the uh, technicalities behind the transfer and we never saw a public version of the bonding bill. The House and Senate never uh, unveiled that in the uh, uh, waning days of the uh, legislative session in May, uh, but I was assured uh, by both uh, Senator Bach as well as uh, Representative Murphy that uh, it was included in that. Um, the legislature adjourned uh, without passing any of those major bills uh, still on the table, a tax bill, a bonding bill, education bill, transportation bill, uh, I can go on and on. Um, and initially there was uh, talk about a special session uh, to get some of that done, uh, but as we have uh, moved day by day away from that adjournment date, uh, nothing has happened. And now that general consensus is they may come back, but it would be after the August 9th primary. And uh, there's a lot of politics at play. There's a lot of members uh, in the Senate and the House who have primary opponents. And um, for partisan reasons, there's a thought that uh, perhaps coming back and compromising with each other, the Democrats and Republicans, that uh, that could be used against some of the uh, representatives and senators in competitive races. And so uh, the thought is, once we get past that August 9th primary, we may see um, a, uh, a legislature uh, come back. Um, if not, uh, we'll be watching the November election uh, to really see how uh, control of the legislature will be uh, will be come January, and uh, whether there will be an appetite then to pass a bonding bill in what is traditionally a budget year. And so we can be ready with that language immediately introduce it uh, upon uh, the new legislature convening in January. Um, and on that, uh, after the um, August 9th primary, uh, it may be worth um, the city's uh, a while to uh, invite uh, both candidates uh, running in the state Senate race and state House race uh, to represent two harbors in the legislature. It may uh, be in our best interest to invite them uh, to meet with uh, the city and uh, bring them up to speed as, as one uh, of the candidates in the House race and the Senate race will indeed be representing the city and we'll want them to be knowledgeable about this issue uh, if the city chooses to continue to pursue it. Um, with that, uh, I would if, it, if there's no objections, I'd, I'd love to give you a quick update on the LCCMR application that's sort of tied with uh, that effort. Um, the LCCMR commission met today in St. Paul. 
I was at that meeting, which is why I'm not with you in person. And uh, our project application for $142,000 for waterfront planning is included in the small project category. Uh, there's four other proposals in that category. Now, overall, there's 174 total projects seeking LCCMR funds, a total of about $164 million. The commission will likely be able to recommend and allocate spending of about $70 million. So it is a competitive process. Um, over the course of the next uh, four weeks, members of that commission uh, which include members of the House and the Senate, as well as seven citizen uh, commissioners, will rank those projects, and they will ask 89 projects, up to 89 projects of the 174, uh, to come for interviews. And at that point, uh, we would have a representative or representatives from the city uh, present, and then they will make those um, final considerations and recommendations by the end of August. So by August 30th, we'll know uh, where we're at in that process and if we will be recommended for um, funding. And I would say with the uh, potential award of that grant for planning process, um, we will be able to uh, use that funding to try and seek a match from IRRB. Um, we've been successful in the past with being able to have them match LCCMR dollars, especially for planning purposes. I am going to speak with the commission staff just to update them on that land transfer piece of this. Uh, I don't believe it will uh, preclude us from still seeking this money, even though the official transfer uh, hasn't happened and has been hung up with the legislature. So I don't believe uh, that because that hasn't happened, we still uh, can't be successful in seeking these other dollars uh, from the LCCMR. Um, with that, I am uh, happy to take any questions you may have at this point. Any questions? Um, actually, no, I just want to say thanks to um, Jeff for giving us that update don't necessarily have questions for Mr. Anderson, but I guess I'm going to throw this question out to the council is, um, and it's a question that has been heavy on my heart for a long time, but I want to know where the bill came from. Because we have never had a conversation openly with this council up to this point, and I want to know where the bill came from. And I, I apologize, Jeff, I think that you probably know a little bit about the background here, but um, there's been work that has been done without the approval of the city council. And I want to know where it came from. Before we move forward, and you know, and I'm super excited. If we can get planning money, that's great. Because, you know, I know we've done a gazillion plans, but it would be nice to have it all together. And then if at some point we're able to um, get this property, that would be wonderful. But I really have heartburn over the fact that I don't know where it came from. And I'm just looking for somebody to answer that question. Mr. Chair, can I say something? It has nothing to do with who, who brought the, who, where the bill came from. But so in 2020, this council approved the city applying for brownfield funding for a grant with ARDC. That. Behind that, the part of that agreement was that they were going to do the phase one and the phase two testing, and there was going to be money left over for planning. Um, this council approved taking old plans that the city had and just building off of those. And so we already have the money for the planning. ARDC has to finish executing this grant by the end of 2023. Um, and so I have all of the environmental reports from the DNR property. I have everything that we need for those. And so ARDC is a little bit confused because um, they've been working with Stantec as directed by the city under that grant to move this process forward for the waterfront planning. So when this whole thing with the casting group and the um, LCCMR funding came forth, ARDC called me because 
they're confused about what's going on. So are we all? Yeah. So we already had money for the planning. We have money left over for that. Um, so if we don't get this money, we still have money for the planning. And that was the plan, was to not come up with new plans, but to utilize the plans that we already have and update them and kind of make them useful for what we have right now. So can we go ahead, Mom? I just want to, Stan Tech was here to help us with. They kind of jumped into the, with the waterfront development. They were here for that NG originally. That's what we hired them for. And then they came to the plans. So I don't know, and we haven't heard from Stan Tech for, it's probably been two years, um, since I last heard them. Uh, so, I mean, they got to be careful because we never hired them for, we hired them for the energy, not for community, no, like you, not waterfront development. This council hired ARDC, and ARDC provided this council with the documentation that they were contracting with Stantec. Oh. So the city didn't hire Stantec, ARDC did, but we authorized that. This okay. council authorized that. It was a subcontract. Oh, okay, yeah. so that's a totally that's that's a a different thing. Yeah. yeah, I, don't know I mean, the question poses to itself. I, I do not know who introduced this bill either. And, that, and, and these are things that, that I, I wanted to have this meeting because these are the things that I'm extremely concerned about. Um, we just went through a long discussion about how to finance the tall ships. And again, that was another one of those things that started way back here, and then all of a sudden it's October. and. Well, yeah, we would support it, but we had no idea how much planning had gone into that prior to us sending a letter of support. So I want to make sure that, that we have this conversation, that this council is working together and not with others that are off doing rogue things. That just, it looks bad for us and it just feels bad. So when I'm trying to explain to a constituent or somebody where this all came from, I just need I just need some answers. And I don't know where those answers are gonna come from, but I have to know. There was a lot of stuff that went down to to the DNR and to the Capitol that none of us knew about. And I'm I gotta be perfectly honest, I'm a little angry. So understand. Does any staff know where things have gone from or come from? I just know that the mayor said it at a meeting that we got this, that Senator Bach was introducing the bill. And I asked Senator Bach that same night because I hadn't heard this. And he said that he he introduced it. So then, then that's when Miranda and Patty and I had to get the, we had to talk to Tom and figure out what's going on. But that was the first that staff heard about it was when the mayor announced it at the meeting that night. Um, I guess the, the question that, that I'm going to ask then is, so if Jen is telling us that we have funding already through ARDC, and we have Jeff working with LCCMR, um, is it possible that we could like all sit down and have this conversation so we know who the players are before we get any deeper into this quagmire that I just totally don't get. Well, as far as the way it sounds to be, we got plenty of time right now to set another meeting. And that's what I was thinking. So I, I would I would definitely welcome and invite ARDC and, and uh, the planner as well Stand as Jeff. Up. Jeff, raise his hand. Oh, go ahead, Jeff. Go ahead, Jeff. Oh, I'm sorry. Not my chair. Uh, <laughs> Um, Mr. Chair and members, um, I would certainly welcome that opportunity to have a conversation um, because at this point, uh, we, do, we are, uh, per your direction, um, are uh, pursuing these other funds and uh, I would love to uh, find out if they can be a complement to the funding that the city has now and if we need to adjust our messaging when we are hopefully asked to present to the LCCMR, um, and that would be, we need to be on the same page. So I, I think it's a great idea to say we, we have a meeting and figure out where all of this can intersect. Great. Okay, so we have 
Uh, Mr. Chair, if I could, I guess I'm, I would like to um, make sure that waterfront issues are not going through the waterfront task force, that they are all coming before the waterfront committee of a whole. Of a whole. We can almost resolve the waterfront task force. And I was just going to, yeah. And, but, yeah. And I think that's, that's up to me to do, right? I or is that a council you, action? Um, I think it's it's appointed by you, but I um, I don't know, Chad. Well, I, I guess I don't. I, I, I don't know how it was set up, but it was this committee set up a task force. Yes. With, yes. with yes. And, the, and the members of the task force were comprised of citizens or meetings? counselors. Councilor Swanson, yeah. they don't believe Councilor Erickson. Can we take a vote? Here. Action at this meeting. Well, I mean, you have a special meeting here. Of the council to take action, you have the authority to do that under your notice. Yep. And I'll make a motion to dissolve the waterfront task force. Second. Roll call on that, please. Woodruff? Yes. Closher? Yes. Brenwald? Yes. Brennan? Yes. Waterfront task force is dissolved. Never met. I think that some of them. But anyway, um, so yeah, could, if we could ask administration then to work out some details for a meeting, and um, so we can get everybody on the same page. I think, especially if we, especially if we're picked for one of the eighty-nine to do an interview, Jeff, we probably should know what we're talking about. In the end. <laughs> All right. The only other thing that I have is uh, I don't even have that anymore. That was unanswered. All right. Any other discussion? Mr. Chair. Yes. Mr. Chair, members, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I, I would just say this uh, too regarding the legislative effort for the land transfer that if the <coughs> legislature doesn't come back for a special session and if we are looking at uh, next session um, the council uh, may want to consider taking an action of support or not of uh, support for that action uh, as we move forward because uh, while a legislator has the purview to introduce any bill they want I would have to imagine that any new legislators and we will have a new state senator uh, we'll want to know that the city either supports that effort or doesn't um, before they move forward and, and put their name to it. So just a, a suggestion as we move forward that the council may want to consider an action uh, naming it a legislative priority uh, in the next legislative session. All right. Yeah. 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 Thanks, Jeff. Thank you. If there's nothing else, I will look for a motion to adjourn. So moved. Oh, second. Roll call, please. Woodruff? Yes. Clasher? Yes. Renwald? Yes. Redden? Yes. We are adjourned. <laughs>